I was three years old, I first saw Elvis on TV and I thought he was the coolest guy I've ever seen. So I cleared off my coffee table, started dancing immediately. That's how it really happened. I became an Elvis fan probably the first time I saw an Elvis movie on TV back when I was six, seven years old, which was back in the 60s. I've been from now more than 16 years. So I was 14 when, I'm, when I discovered Elvis Presley. It was my sister who was a fan before me. And um, I fell in love, I don't know why and I don't know how, but he came to my life alone, by himself. Oh man, I was uh, just a child and um, I remember my dad got a record for me, a, a Conway Twitty record called Danny Boy, it was a rockabilly version. And uh, I loved it, I was just obsessed with it, listened to it over and over and over. And then the uh, next uh, week or so, mom took me to the store and bought me some Elvis records and that was it. And I've just been a huge fan ever since. I've been an Elvis fan since 1964. And I can tell you, it was, it was late 64. It was after the release of his movie, Roused About. I was 13 years old. And I just got so hooked on Elvis, man. That I had seen a couple of his movies before that. Uh, two movies in particular. It happened at the World's Fair and the Flaming Star. But at that time, I went to see the co-features playing with those movies. And uh, anyway, it took me until 64 when I was a teenager. And I was just... Kind of, he knocked my socks off when I saw him around, and I thought this is the coolest guy ever, you know. And I wanted, want to try to be something like that guy, you know. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's been since 1964. So, I saw a guy by accident. I saw an ETA by accident, and I uh, thought it was really cool. And so I uh, started doing it. You know, I think I was always kind of aware of Elvis. Um, like I said, when we used to travel and do gospel music, uh, of course, you know, Elvis was huge into gospel music. And I would even hear Dad tell some stories of a few uh, uh, encounters, not with Elvis, but with people that worked for Elvis. And uh, so I was kind of aware of it. But when I was, um, let's see, I would have been about uh, eight years old uh, in 77. And um, we were doing a show up in uh, Michigan, Mackinac City, Michigan, and kind of a Branson style show. Our family was doing one up there. And during the afternoons, my dad would run out and uh, do uh, appearances at little uh, cafes or that, trying to promote the promote the show that we had that night. And he came home and um, or came back to the to the show that night. And I remember him walking in the door, and I was just sitting over, probably playing with a toy or something. But I heard him say to mom, "Did you hear that Elvis Presley passed away?" And even though I didn't really grasp the the enormity of what that meant, I knew it was something very significant. And that night after our show. I remember sitting up and listening to the radio just for hours and hours, and they just played constant Elvis music back to back. And um, and from that time on, I've just always been an Elvis fan. You know, I was aware of him before, and and then once he passed away, I really, really got into it more. Of course, I was you know young at that time, but uh, and as I grew up, I really started to respect the uh, the talent that he had. When I was a little kid. And, uh, I liked it that you know he could. Get a girl, win the fights, sing a couple songs, and win the race at the end of the movie. I, you know, as early as I can remember, uh, my mother got me into his music. Okay, and uh, probably five years old, I can remember, you know, watching uh, Fun in Acapulco, Blue Hawaii, some of the, the earlier Elvis movies. And, uh, and uh, from that point on, man, I just kind of got hooked. I've been an Elvis fan. Well, I was, uh, I was about six, and I heard the song Blue Suede Shoes. And uh, it was on my dad's cassette tapes. And uh, I put it in, and I thought that was the only song he ever did. And uh, then I just started learning more about him. And as the years grew, I just grew to love Elvis more and more. And you know, and here I am today. So I'm a fan of Elvis since 1970, from when I first heard the song "The Winner of You." I was two years old. Uh, my grandma sat me down in front of a TV and uh, put in "Follow That Dream," an Elvis movie, and I was mesmerized by it. I wouldn't stop, you know, for nothing, and I stopped for that. So it just snowballed from there, and I've been doing it ever since. Well, I became an Elvis fan when I was about eight years old. I, I got a cassette tape from my mother, and it was always I heard, I heard the Hound Dog, and, and that was it. I've been a fan since I was a kid, since I was probably seven or so. I just, I just fascinated by him, and uh, when when he did Aloha from Hawaii in '73, I mean that was it. And that 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 album is what I wanted for my 16th birthday. You know? That's all I wanted was this album. I still got it. Uh, when I was a young kid, my, my parents were divorced. I was going to visit my dad on the weekends, and he would pull up, and I'd be sitting out on the front steps of our house waiting for my dad. And as soon as I get in my dad's car, he would have the eight-track cassette playing of Elvis. 
and uh, you know, in the ghetto and Moody Blue, you know, all those different kinds of songs, man. And, and we would just listen to Elvis the whole way to my dad's house, uh, oldies, you know, but mostly all Elvis. And uh, to my dad's on Saturday morning, and then on Sunday night when I was on my way at home, we listened to Elvis. So, um, man, I remember as I got home. Um, I would just think about my dad, of course, because I miss my dad, and of course I would relate Elvis to my father. Uh, a little bit later on, I wound up getting a bunch of cassettes, and I had a stereo, and I had the speakers all around the head of my bed, like I nailed them in the wall. So when I laid down, my head was on the pillow, and I had speakers around my head. And uh, I would just play Elvis every single night. I mean, I would hit play on the cassette, on side A of, of the cassette, I would fall asleep and the cassette would come off by itself. The following night I'd flip the cassette over to side B, I'd play side B, and night after night, my whole childhood I'd listen to Elvis. Uh, through through thick and thin, man, through ups and downs, through through whatever, man. I always had Elvis. And uh, when my dad wasn't there, I had Elvis to listen to. Uh, I listened to Elvis when I was five years old. The first thing I saw him do was Doug Be Cool. I loved it. I had to see more of this man. Uh, I learned about the music and what he believed in. It was amazing. I got, I got involved with Elvis first, and I, I grew up on, grew up with uh, Elvis playing. And you know, ever since I was in a, in a baby's crib, my, my daddy saw Elvis uh, four times, and uh, he uh, got a karaoke machine right around the time you know karaoke got really popular. And uh, I actually caught him singing one day, and. I walked in. I kind of, I kind of made fun of him just a little bit. He didn't, he didn't sound exactly like Elvis, if y'all know what I mean. And well, the rest is history because he, he said, well, you know, it's not as easy as it looks. Why don't you get up here and try it? And first song I ever sang was All Shook Up, and literally I was hooked. The bug, the bug hit me immediately, and it's been a, it's been a ride ever since. Fan of Elvis for probably uh, 30 years. Yeah. Uh, I first came to Elvis fan, my dad was playing a lot of Elvis records at, around the house and I thought uh, I could sing a little bit like him so I researched him and fell in love with who he was. I was always an Elvis fan. My mother, I grew up with my mother listening to Elvis songs and uh, I really got into, uh, the first time I heard the uh, Madison Square Garden concert I, I just thought it was awesome. I fell in love with Elvis. My dad um, brought a, a VHS tape of uh, what, uh, Elvis the Lost Performances. And pretty much from then on, it was just, you know, right then and there. That's how I became a fan. And I became a fan all on my own um, because none of my family is really an Elvis fan. It was just kind of a, you know, just a pop-in tape, you know, and that's, that's how it started. When I was in college, I did the show Bye Bye Birdie. And uh, the director had to study a lot of a lot of Elvis for the part. And um, it was, they, we, uh, we put a little band together and after the show, we just kind of kept going, played fraternity parties and stuff like that. It just kind of snowballed from there. I've been a fan of Elvis ever since I was old enough to, to listen and appreciate music. So I'm probably about eight, nine years old. My, my family played Jerry Lee Lewis and all the Sun recording artists in the house on the old 45. So uh, it's been quite a while. My mother, my mother was a big Elvis fan, and I you know, listened to Elvis music pretty much every day of my life. and. Uh, just grew to love the man, love, love the music and just what he stood for, you know. Uh, so it's 73. Now I'm going to tell you my age now, which I don't like doing, but I, I was three in 73. And um, my dad used to listen to the crooners, and Elvis is one of them, and that's what got me hooked. But he's nowhere near the fan that I became. <laughs>